Where in the world is Phoebe Philo? This is a question that I've been wondering for several months now, and I can't be the only one. So for those of us who are old Celine fans and Phoebe Philo fans, we already know that she was supposed to debut her namesake collection this year. It was supposed to be early this year. All of the fashion news outlets had announced this in a very excited manner because we have a lot of old Celine fans, a lot of Phoebe fans in particular. And she was supposed to come out with her namesake brand early this year, but we're now at the tail end of this year and nothing. LVMH, interestingly, her former employer actually is backing her so they are a minority investor in her brand minority investor is key because that means that she's still the boss she's going to remain independent and she will call the shots as she has been throughout her career i'm going to share with you some interesting tidbits about her life and her history and hopefully if you don't already love phoebe philo you will soon enough here's a photo of her side by side with stella mccartney so phoebe started her early days at chloe working as the assistant to Stella McCartney. Then she quickly rose to become the creative director. Then after a few years, LVMH lured her away to become the creative director of Celine. She joined Celine in 2008 and remained there for about 10 years before announcing her departure, which really upset a lot of Phoebe fans and a lot of Celine fans. So it's interesting because when she accepted the offer from LVMH, she said on one condition, and the condition was that she would be able to base her studio in London. She's a Brit and she wanted to be close to family. And so she said, I'll work out of London. And I'll do my shows in Paris. And I don't know why, but this just makes me so happy. You know, someone who knows her worth and knows how to negotiate and get what she deserves, right? So once she joined Celine, the looks became very modern, very refined, but relaxed, very feminine, but not overly feminine, very balanced, minimalist aesthetics, classic, clean lines, tonal color palettes, timeless essentially. And then after about 10 years, she announced that she was leaving. And this is not the first time she has shocked the fashion world. When she was with Chloe, she left for a couple of years to raise her young children. And then she had another baby and said, I'm leaving to be with my family. So she's got three children with her husband and yeah she is the ultimate modern working woman she created all these beautiful elegant looks that are wearable and practical for the everyday woman they're relatable they're comfortable but they're sleek and chic and every time i see any celine old celine clothes i just feel like wow i can pick it up and wear it now i can wear it 20 years from now i could have worn it 40 years ago and they're just so 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 timeless i think that We need more female creative directors in the fashion world. There are so many male creative directors and there's nothing wrong with that. But when you're designing for the female body and for the female aesthetic and for female comfort and needs, just having the personally female perspective of being a woman and a creative director, I think there's an edge right there. So let's talk about old Celine. Yeah, we refer to the old Celine versus the new Celine. And I think it's because there was just such a cult following of the Phoebe Philo days that people were very angry when Phoebe Philo left and Heidi Slimane came in. People were like, what? And we've all kind of been waiting. We've been anxiously waiting for her to do something. And it's been about three years. She's been with her family, raising her young children. And it was announced that she was ready to come back and we're ready for her to come back look at all the beautiful classics that she left us these are the it bags from her era the classic box bag you guys know i own this i mean it's just so 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 chic and beautiful and yummy and there's still no more classic bag than this in my opinion it's so discreet and understated it's got no logos no branding it's just is beautiful as is and whether it's worn casually or dressed up it's just perfect so you guys know i love my classic box bag and look at all the yummy colors she left us so many it bags it is ridiculous absolutely ridiculous she might have to win an award for churning out 
the most classic timeless it bags for us here's also my celine trio this was also from the phoebe philo era very very understated and underrated bag in my opinion it looks so good against the body very slimming very comfortable it's got the beautiful triple compartments with the zippers and it kind of just blends in with your outfit and lets all the other accessories shine it doesn't compete so yeah and then this one here i missed out on this is the trator bag so beautiful i actually went hunting for this bag for a while got one but the color was not right for me so i let it go and yeah it's the one that got away and then here we've got the classic luggage totes I don't know, I just feel like she was playful and whimsical, but still kept it very clean and simple and classic. And that is not easy to do. It's not easy to strike that balance. Here, I mean, you see what I'm saying? I could probably make a video on all of the gorgeous bags that she left us. And then, of course, the shoes. She was also known for the shoes. So she's not just about the handbags, not just about the clothes, but she thought about the whole woman, the whole woman, our experience in wearing the brand and i don't know i'm just so excited i'm so excited to sh to see what she debuts like what what is she going to come out with here's a quote from her she said i am driven by real style and beauty my aim is to reveal and not display women that's something only a woman can really say you know i'm sure male designers have said things like this but it just hits home when it's another female this was actually on the old Celine website years ago. Things of quality have no fear of time. This was, I think, part of their ad campaign or one of the campaigns. And seriously, I think this should be like the motto or the mantra of Phoebe Philo's new collection. And there she is. Yeah, so I applaud her for everything she's done. I am also clapping because I'm excited for her to come back. Um, I love that she's the modern working woman herself. I love that she dresses the way she designs, you know. There's no hypocrisy there. And look at this. This is Vanessa Friedman. She's a New York Times fashion critic. And she says, listen, do you hear that? It's the intake of breath after thousands of women's fashion prayers are finally answered. And this was in response to the announcement that Phoebe was ready to come back after a three-year hiatus. This is what she said. Being in my studio and making once again has been both exciting and incredibly fulfilling. And I'm very much looking forward to being back in touch with my audience and people everywhere. So this is real. She responds responded to it she announced it this is not rumor or speculation she is coming back just you know a bit of a delay probably because of all that happened in the last couple of years probably because she has also super high standards and she's not going to just churn out anything it has to be quite right and so that makes me even more excited i'm telling you i need to save my money because she's probably going to take it all so needless to say i am beyond excited give this video a thumbs up if you're excited as well i feel like also now with the economy being the way it is we are probably leaning more towards a kind of minimalist style whenever we head towards recession or we're in a recession i feel like fashion kind of mirrors what the economic state is and all of the bold flamboyant sort of out there designs are going to feel kind of tacky and loud they already do to me but usually in a more pared down environment it's just doesn't feel appropriate so this might just be the best moment in time for phoebe to come back and make her debut so anyway i'm so excited thanks for watching this video if you're a phoebe fan do let me know down below in the comments and i'll see you all next time Bye bye